and welcome back to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Steve Swat. My guest this segment is Linda Dahlmeyer, who's the mayor of Oroville. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. Uh, we're going to talk about something a little different uh, in, the, in this segment. I know a year, a little over a year ago, you uh, were on our program. You were running for mayor, and you promised to return civility to politics. Well, if you look on the national scene and really in this, on the state level, that certainly hasn't happened. Oroville is a little smaller. I know you'd like to see it become a, a model for other communities, uh, but you think it's actually working, right? I do think it's working. As a matter of fact, I know it's working. One of the things that we were able to do um, as a whole, as a city council, is actually we had um, brown bag meetings and we all came to an agreement that this is what we believed in. We found one or two things that we were going to agree on and work on and we've taken it from there. It's um, difficult sometimes to pull um, just a few people together, let alone a whole room full, but the council is working well together and the staff is fabulous. And we have, we've turned the page. And that's what I said I was going to do is we were gonna turn the page in Oroville and we were going to do it nicely. And so you pick out a couple of issues that you think you can, that are easily solvable and yes. you get those early victories, yes. and that seems to provide momentum then. Yes, and we continue. The staff has done an excellent job in um, moving things off the shelves that have been there for a long time that maybe in the past they had um, too much controversy, but we know in our community that it's something that needs to be addressed, and like annexation, for instance, um, it's been on the agenda, it's been worked on in the staff, and it's been approved. We've straightened up our lines and our annexation, and we're moving forward. Items like that and um, might not have made it even to the council meeting in the past because of the controversy. Of course, you still do have controversial items that, we do. that cause friction. We do, but we handle them politely. And I have to give the credit once again to the council members for stepping up to the plate and taking on the civility contract um, and doing a great job with it. Let's talk about a sort of a spin-off, I guess, uh, with this, in, th in that you're taking this idea to the schools. Yes. How does that work? Yes. When, when I ran and I said we were going to turn the page and do it nicely, I know um, I had experienced working with um, some of the high school students and when I asked them what they knew about their community I asked them to name one or two positive things that they knew about their community some of them had difficulties with even thinking of one and that um, it, it saddened me but it also didn't shock me because we have created a culture that doesn't talk about positive more so than negative. I call them the below the belt remarks or the party remarks that everybody says but nobody understands why the remark was made. And if you ask yourself what was the purpose of that statement? Or when somebody makes a remark and they say what was the purpose of that remark and then you wait for an answer, a lot of times it encourages um, a better conversation and understanding about sometimes why those negative remarks are made. So in essence what I've done is I said we're going to go into the school system. I personally have made a promise to visit every elementary school classroom that, and it doesn't have to be in my city limits, it can be anywhere in my region, and say, you tell me two nice things about a person, place, or thing, and two nice things you learned today. And it's amazing, I started in third grade classrooms, and it's amazing how these children sit on the edges of their seat waiting to raise their hand because they all have something to say, and they all have something positive to say. In turn, with the encouragement of their teacher, they are writing um, small essays of those sentences. Of course, they're learning what a person, place, or thing is mm -hmm. in their English at this time. And writing those sentences, and I will read them at the city council meetings um, each week. Great. Well, it sounds like you're turning a page. I right. am turning a page. Thank you. All right. Well, Linda Dahlmeyer, Mayor of Oroville, thanks for coming by and talking about this really interesting program. Thank you for having me. And thanks to our viewers for watching Comcast Newsmakers. We'll see you next time.